welcome back to You Haven't Played, where we play the games that we haven't played in a few weeks. Uh, <laughs> so we are back with Vampire the Masquerade hyphen Bloodlines. We are downtown now. Sky looks uh, pretty nice, actually. I like it. I dig it. Uh, and we need to find our way around. Yep, around. Who the fuck are these guys? Uh, they're CDC. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, the, there's a side quest we may or may not find. Anyway, is that that's the same prostitute? Maybe it's hey, uh. Baby. Looking for a date? Nope. Hey there, need a date? <laughs> hey there, need a date? Like she just rolls around all these different spots. Uh, Is this your your new form of locomotion? It seems to move fast, so I don't, I don't think, it does. think it's any faster. Okay, I think it's we'll just annoying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not right now. Uh. Okay, so maybe we should actually check the. Track. I mean, yeah. So the thing with the quest log and bloodlines is they're going to go from where the quest originated and not where it actually like is happening. Um, so like Regent's Riddle happens downtown, but you picked it up in Santa Monica. So it's in the Santa Monica tab. Dark um, so it's always worth checking around through your quests to see what you've got going on. Where burns the huh. mystical sun. Yeah. And then Skyline Apartments. This is not, yeah, this okay. is like a hotel, isn't it? Yes, this is the Empire Arms right. Motel? Hotel? I think hotel. Fuck this place. Not at all where we We're too classy for this place. Yeah, we don't have a quest for that place, so fuck it. <laughs> uh, hey there. Yeah, here's a parking lot. Nice, we're getting the lay of the land, you know? I don't think so. You get yeah. the... Get the, get the fuck out of my way! Okay. And that's probably probably good. Oh just need a little little top up, little sip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we go won't another move. way. <laughs> well, that's lame, Patrick. I want to go that way. You could look at a map if you wanted, at one of the bus stops. The Peckoning. Ah, there we go. Okay. So Skyline Apartments is two. Oh, it's like... Like right there. Oh, fuck. Okay. Good call, Patrick. I don't know if I made any calls. You said go another way. Oh, there you go. Yes, I'm a genius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reward myself with a nice cold... You can join my uh, my pro gamer uh, club. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, pro gamer 2A, normie. right? No normies. No normies. <laughs> This is a very stable elevator, and I'm glad to be in it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Just break I... into this guy's house. No problem. <laughs> Hold on, I need to buff myself with blood. Yeah. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. <laughs> Meet me at the agreed upon location. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Bye. So, that was the intern, right? That was, uh... Was that a character we know? No. I don't think so. I don't think we've, um, we've met Nicolas Cage's Mr. Smith. I do love that this guy has two car stereos on his kitchen counter. Yeah, you know. Case one. Ooh, Kendo for advanced students. Remember the 90s? I can't use because it was oh, a diary. That's why. Uh, where's, where's my book? Oh, there it is. That's oh, unknown. Am I just too stupid to read it? I guess so. Um, you need research, research five. Jesus. Oh, one thing I forgot when I was editing is we have a fuck ton of experience. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, because you finished a bunch of main quests. Yeah, I was editing and I was like, do I ever level up? I guess I'm not. I'm just ignoring that shit. So uh, yeah, we have 27 so, XP. So what do you want to be real cool at? Uh, yeah. Research five. That's what I want to do. So, so that's scholarship and intelligence. Um, and intelligence is a little bit more useful. Yeah, well, intelligence adds to two things, and scholarship doesn't. Oh, scholarship adds to persuasion? Cool. I mean, that's also useful. I guess so. So. Be very learned. Yeah, um, the other thing is with the way the XP costs work in this game, that splitting your stuff up between different skills is going to be more cost efficient than just leaning into one thing. Got you. Probably want to get better disciples too, because probably things are get a bit a bit harder. Yeah, sorry, discipline. Yeah, um, I mean, it seems like your play style so far has been really protean heavy, so getting more of that might not be bad, depending on what yeah, it does. Will of the Wolf, Hunter of the Night. You gain deadlier claws. What's the fifth thought of that do? War form. Increase claw damage. Okay. Mm. Um, I mean, stat boosts are solid. You could also just buy stats well I have a book I think it's to increase my brawl so yeah yeah it should be so you need get that and then I'll get scholarship and then I think int 3 is going to cost you 8 8 yeah. to 6 so I need another scholarship and then 12 8 for dex and also hold on to it Or what's the uh, second dot of animalism? I think we already... Oh, uh, five? Burrowing Beetle. Uh, I can call some, like, yeah. mummy... Brendan Fraser the mummy shit going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it'll give you a ranged attack, so that's nice. That's lame. Uh, <laughs> or, or we can lame. buff our fortitude. fortitude. Always buy more fortitude. Yeah, in sure. Vampire the Masquerade. Okay, and then we'll save this three. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. That seems good. And suddenly, I became uh, intelligent enough to read this book. Melee. Uh, oh, Kendo is sword fighting. Useless. <laughs> Just gonna throw it away. Uh, let's sell I mean, it. At least sell it. Yeah. I'm a very uh, economic savage. Jesus fucking Christ, there we go. Good old source <laughs> engine. Uh, very economically savvy uh, gangrel. So this is still his apartment. <laughs> he just went downstairs. Uh, but you can. Well, saying we're still here, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to move things along, well, I'm just saying that you you can just walk there, down the stairs, <laughs> or you can take that. You can go in there. It does go other places. Yeah, let's explore. We're the adventurous sort of empire. Hello. And besides, we have the kind of look on us that everyone wants to see. Crawling, out, crawling of out of their vents into their home <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah. So here's a question, and um, it's probably not actually the Masquerade um, related, because I don't think this is actually true in Vampire the Masquerade. But um, so... In, in Bram Stoker's, right? Mm -hmm. There is, uh. The, there's like, you can't see him. Uh. You can't see him in mirrors, right? Right. But why can you. Why can't you see his clothes? Uh, magic. God. God? Said no. Okay. Yeah. Part of the... God is angry at his clothes also. <laughs> clothes make the man. That's all I'm gonna... That's, that's where I'm gonna end it. Is right, there like a note here somewhere? Why does he have a computer here and a computer there? That's a waste of time. Well, see, one of them that's turns on. One of them doesn't. One of them is a uh, model home. I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for like a notepad that has the password on it. 
don't think it might also not be here um there's a i don't really remember maybe uh, on the fourth floor well there might also be like an npc that you talk to at some point who it's gives like, you that password hey buddy my password is this yeah I just waited for some like fucked up shit to go into one of these. Like I go into Patrick Bateman's house or something like that. Nah, that doesn't happen until we get to Hollywood. Hollywood. Shout out to all those who live in Hollywood. <laughs> Fuck this table. I guess. I like how they went through the the time to refurbish each one of these apartments but for the most part there's not a damn thing in that's any world thing. building patrick <laughs> world building was there something on the kitchen island um no that was a sink yeah it's a sink is it's there something gone. in the fridge ah the fridge nope okay there's okay. probably nothing here uh, Moving on. I don't, I'm not going to say much, but if I was looking at apartments and I found this place and I saw these big ass vents that that led to my room, I probably wouldn't take this part out. <laughs> this yeah. guy was smart. He actually locked his... Uh, locked his vents. Locked his vents. That's a level of paranoia I can appreciate. I know. <laughs> this is like... Kind of making me sick. So there's also the first level apartment, yeah, which so I think is this one. This one? Yeah. Nope, this no, is the second we floor. This one. Down we go, as Carthonassi would say. <laughs> we should all aspire to be Carthonassi, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Huh. He's a hero. Damn, yeah. That person's got a washer and dryer in their apartment. Man, big it's money. Swanky. Big money. And he's even got a wall TV. Cool. Oh, in Mom's in best room. 2004. Fancy. Shot glasses. Oh. Fuck this guy's shot glasses, I guess. He's got a <laughs> fax. Need oh. new furniture. In shot home glasses. fax machine. Man. What is this, a millionaire? Oh, he's also yeah. got like, a drugs. shit ton of drugs. I mean. Oh, he's got a computer. Gotta take the drugs. Is this and a, a picture. I stole his photo. Steal. Why do I have his photo? What? Blurry photo what looks like a nose for Oh, that's a masquerade breach right there. Uh, uh... Well, in case I meet that nose for like I have a picture of you here. Hacking into the mainframe. V capital J Y F S Z. That's it. You got it. <laughs> Nailed that's it. the password. <laughs> Uh, show 17. Hospital horror. A dilapidated hospital in downtown. Spooky. Blah, blah, blah. Patients. All right, what about the next show? Eternal unrest. Cemetery in Hollywood. There's dead green. Mm. I feel like a vampire is, is here. I believe that, I think this might be the yeah. I think Mister Haunted no, L.A. Right. Simon. Look to your right. Look to my right. That piece of paper. Can you uh, read I don't that? think no. that's anything. No. That's oh, nothing. I actually this probably have to interact. This is nothing. Okay. Well, I, I think the important thing in here is the photo. Um, and, yeah. those uh, show notes are places where there are side quests that are like tangentially related to his ideas about that but this guy's just an idiot like he's just some random filmmaker so he doesn't know he doesn't understand what's going on yeah he doesn't know how haunted shit actually is alright well, let's go down gotta get down to get up uh huh Okay. Huh. That's not upsetting at all. They're spying on people with pizza. <laughs> Gotta have your snacks when you're spying on people. 
Simon Milligan, he's on TV, so odds on footage of his place will be worth something eventually. Sean Milton, he's a slob and he never really has chicks over. Georgia Welch, Rich Broad is pretty hot. On the password to her door is 9648, so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties. 9648. What? Fucking weirdo. <laughs> okay. Bacon. No reason to keep an eye on this one. Paul Anderson. Gold mine. Something hot is always down in there, and that is usually hand ourselves. That's the one's locked. Was it three? Nine six four eight. All right. I think that's to the front door. Not to yeah. The... Hacking. U. H. N. Got it. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Move it on. Oh, oh. Let's see. Okay. There you go. Guess if I didn't have mad lock picking skills. That's not how okay, whatever. It's not how sewers work? No, it's not. It's fucking disgusting. Uh, it is in the world of darkness, because the Nosferatu need to be able to get around. <laughs> <laughs> They need to go to that apartment for reasons. Now you're outside in this nice alley next to this spooky building. Yeah, what the fuck's that about? Hey guys. Hello. Well, this may look like a familiar model because this is a club. Is this the Asylum? 2.0? Uh, uh, yeah, it has a equally gothy name i forget yeah. <laughs> i knew you'd talk to me really i swear you were all like totally drawn to me i'm I surprised i don't know you with this i usually meet all the <laughs> la vampires out on the scene not a lot of you out tonight which is weird because i don't know of any parties going on Vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted um. to ask you if you've seen someone. Oh. Who? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really Isn't well. Isn't this like a massive like breach? Prada, usually. Yeah. <laughs> It sure is. No, I don't know. Oh, well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably like too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the. This is my vampire boyfriend. You wouldn't know him. All right, no, I have to go. Don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. This chick better be a hunter. Why should I? Oh, look. I haven't seen him nope. Today. Worse than that. She's a ghoul. Oh. Sad. So she's just irritating. I I wouldn't get thirsty. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Fine. You're just some no dick fledgling. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I, wouldn't I saw them blood, in person. On Earth. It's a little two-man show in a garage. <laughs> so I won't be getting a Christmas card is what you're saying. Oh, well. His band was playing. Like, uh, which ones are the Toreador? Are those the... That was a long conversation. They're the Anne Rice vampires. vampires. We got more gimps. Yeah. You gotta have gimps. Oh, uh, well, if John Travolta tells me to dance, I dance. Time to break it down. Time to do that guy just dance. stops. He's like, <laughs> just everyone walk away. just stops. <laughs> everyone <laughs> <else can't> <laughs> <run>. <laughs> Everyone's like, all right, time to go. Oh, there oh, we go. There, there we you go. go. 
There they, you go. They were they were they're like back. they weren't picking up what I was putting down, but then they took a whiff of it, and now they're going for it. You know. They had to think about it. Yeah, exactly. Female says, "I'll never forget this night." <laughs> the night Bob Smith, the <laughs> nasty boy, came and danced at our club. <laughs> Oh, okay. boy. That's good. I like that they just have a cut out of John Travolta. No, you're not. You, you're not going to talk to me. All right. Who owns this establishment? Uh, the bartender. Ah, what's up? Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibitions, the first thing to go. Two more of these. She's we tell British. Your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I maybe beat priestess. And it's time to confess. <laughs> I don't know what that accent's supposed to be. Are you a bartender or a groupie for the cure? <laughs> uh, never... Just gonna wind up and junk on her? No, nah, no, nah, that's not Bob. That's not this Bob Smith. Venus was her that's name. <laughs> that's Tamarilla, Bob, Bob Smith. Mm. Uh, no. Oh, no matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Work, Does she have like a picture of her boobs on her shirt? Yeah, I think yes. that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cutout of a pair of boobs. Yeah, it's a glossy cool. JPEG. <laughs> uh, nope. Mm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. I voted Republican one time. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> uh, you know, vampire. Use your imagination. I'm leaving. Can I talk to this gimp? I think he has a more interesting story than anyone else. I think that's LaCroix right there. Yeah, secretly. That's, this is where he goes on his off days. Is that the, no, that's, this is a different lady? Okay. I like your cans. God, option three. Ooh, oh, baby. baby. Woo, baby. <laughs> Damn, baby. Oh, baby. yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't we have like a high social score? Or <laughs> we, we do have high social skills if you would like to uh, do that. Oh, she's just laughing at you. You picked the wrong choice, I guess. Like your cans. Are you me with your eyes? Yeah. In your head? Good. That's as close as you're ever gonna come to seeing me naked. Mm -hmm. Who is this voice actor? Well, I don't know. Coat. I left it with a guy who'll be getting some off me tonight. Wait. Um, am I just trying to have sex with this woman? Ooh, I like strong, handsome, charming men. This, no, this is I someone. Um, I don't know. I'm about to have my phone. This person seems irrelevant. Move along. <laughs> I don't know if any of these options are getting you anywhere. Okay. You might not have the correct social skills. I am lacking in social graces. Uh, what's your seduction look like? I think that's My probably seduction? the one she wants. Zero, probably. Negative four. <laughs> With those dreads. Let's see. Seduction is one. Yeah, that's probably the one she wants. It's okay. I don't need to seduce the woman of my dreams. Sorry, we're closed. All right. Okay. So where? Confession. That's the name of this terrible nightclub. I know. Oh, I miss. God. <coughs> I miss Teresa and Jeanette. Let's go back and hang out with them. Uh. It's kind of muddy. He wasn't there, and so you heard another message telling Durbin Milton to meet someone at an unknown location across the street from a bar. All right. Well, well, where's the bar? The last round uh, is probably a bar. Yeah, that's where Nines wants to meet you. All right, and also like... Jack will be there. All right. Well, let's go hang out with those Anarch guys. Um, I think it's the other way. Huh, that's ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, sure. Look at these losers and they're like red lighting. Bought out a church. Like, what the fuck's that? You know, fashion. So this giant penis building is LaCroix, right? Yeah. 
You know how we do. I think it's the woman who played uh, Helga's sister. Olga? Olga, yeah. Who's, who plays? Hey Arnold. What? <laughs> In that bar we were the just... The woman I was girl. pretending to seduce or the woman that yeah. was... Uh, no, the woman you were pretending to seduce. Okay. Le Opera. That's a deep pull, man. I just recognized the kind of like whiny, like scratchy voice that she had. Mm. Just wanted to share it with everyone else. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, that's the last round. So across the street from the last round. Maybe in this homeless place? What nope. are you looking for? I'm looking. You know, a homeless. Ah, oh, this, this, maybe this is it. Uh... He's hiding in the dumpster. <laughs> it's possible. Nosferatu hole. Nosferatu hole. Oh. Oh, shit. oh, oh, God. <clears throat> oh, hey. I think. I'm, that that's looks like uh, a. That's I think not he's, good. I think he's dead. Oh, there was a talk. Are you okay, sir? There was a talk um, prompt. Hey, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> that bloody mess is kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me which side. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and the, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Why do homeless people always sound like prospectors? <laughs> because they were. Because they are prospectors. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for gold. I, on I guess. They do some kind of job, they're saying. But the person they're meeting will hear straight. So the one guy leaves, you find a phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. I mean, this well, sounds like a voice I would encounter in California. Maybe like Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't count if it's an actor. <laughs> Maybe on the set of Tombstone, the film. Yeah. Hang Watch good. out for that Don't fire. Fired. Don't put that fire in uh, you. God that damn. barrel isn't real, Jermaine. Oh, well, luckily there's these boxes. There you go. Jumping puzzle. What? What? Okay, yeah, sure. Lucky star... Lucky star room key. Another... Oh, the police are here. Well, you could check your log and see what... Uh, you found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find the key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. He's going to see. Double update. Oh, Carnival Death. So Milton is the murderer. Maybe. Or Milton saw something that he shouldn't have seen. The Kate. The Katif? The Katif? Yeah. The Katif. Like Ronan? Kinda. Kind of, um, actually, yeah. The, it's like... We talked about this. Yeah, they're clanless vampires, so they're like the Thin Bloods, but like slightly less shitty. Where's the... Uh, the Lucky Star's in Hollywood. You don't have access yet. Okay, so, so we gotta do something else have now. To hold on to that key. Till, uh, Let's go talk to Nines. Let's have a drink in an actual cool place. I don't know about that. Why don't you go through the front fucking door? I guess that's not no, how man. I, I roll, man, all right? You gotta go up the back. What the fuck? That's a thing you can do? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah. You didn't know? I did not know Well, there you, you could go. do that. For your Nosferatu run, you can do that. I guess. Talk of the town. Host a child. Oh my god, it's Keith David. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing here, Keith David? Just being Skelter, the best Anarch. Is he uh, he canon? He doesn't give a shit. Is Skelter canon? No, he's just the best. What's up? <laughs> 
It's a little bit of a different tone. None of this vampire yeah. shit makes any sense to me. You gotta understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000 year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel. Curse? That blood is a tangle of chains that's gonna leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Why do you say that? Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You never even hear their call. That's pretty fascinating. We gotta listen to this guy. We gotta keep talking to this guy. But uh, he knows next, all the shit. Next time, we will keep talking to uh, Skelter. Skeller. Right. <clears throat> Skelliga. 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 All right. Peace, guys. Peace. Bye.